Balmic mixers that have removable bowls also have a bowl sensor installed. You can see it here in this position. Anytime you want to look inside your mixer or do any work inside your mixer, always be sure to disconnect from power first. This machine has been disconnected. If your mixer seems like it should be running and it just isn't coming on, there are two safety devices that could be keeping it from running. This is one of them. Another is the bowl guard safety switch over here that is covered in more detail in another video. So we're going to focus now on the bowl sensor. This is the view from the top and you see the nut there that holds this in place. I'm going to take a look from the side and see the lower end of the sensor positioned over the rim of the bowl. Should be centered over the edge of the bowl. Now this one actually is a little bit back, a little bit further than it should be and uh, could be moved forward there about a quarter of an inch. Um, gap is pretty good, about three thirty seconds of an inch. That's about the most you want, uh, which is about two and a half millimeters. It could be um, only about half that far from the bowl. It might be a more reliable spot. So again, on the uh, lower side, you see another nut. Lower and upper nuts need to be loosened in order to move this sensor fore and aft uh, or up and down to get it in the right position to work. Uh, if you have what uh, seems like it may be a little bit larger gap and you don't want to uh, loosen the nuts just to find out, um, you can slide a piece of tin foil into that gap between the sensor and the bowl and then press the start button on your um, mixer to see if it runs. Uh, if it does, it means that you need to get the sensor a little closer or a little more centered over the edge of the bowl. Uh, do not use a knife or a fork or anything hard or a spoon or anything like that because it could get caught, could wind up in the bowl, could damage um, your dough hook or, or other things, uh, including yourself. So a tin foil uh, will be a safe way to do that. The uh, switches uh, occasionally fail and have to be replaced. Uh, if you have to do that, just uh, be sure to note where the wire unplugged from the control module or, or uh, excuse me, control module, also known as a VFD back here. Um, you'll have to cut some wire ties, reroute uh, the new wire and plug it in where the old one came out of and then uh, bundle those wires back together again.